So in this video, we'll discuss the cells of the collecting ducts and their function. The cortical and inner medullary collecting ducts absorb 5% of sodium. Water and sodium balance are re regulated independently. Water by ADH and sodium by aldosterone. So what are the types of cells in the collecting ducts? There are two types of cells in the collecting duct. The principal cells and intercalated cells. Which hormone act on the collecting duct cells? The aldosterone and the ADH or vasopressin. Where do they act? Both of them act on the principal cells. Whereas intercalated cells function is concerned with acid base balance. Intercalated cells are of two types A and B. The type A cells cause acid secretion mediated by an apical hydrogen ATPase or proton pump and by a basolateral chloride bicarbonate ion exchanger for bicarbonate reabsorption. Type A cells become active in acidemia. The type B cell cause bicarbonate secretion and acid reabsorption have an apical anion exchanger for bicarbonate secretion and acid reabsorption by hydrogen ATPase proton pump on the basolateral surface. Type B cells become active in alkalemia. Let's discuss principal cells. ADH acts to cause water reabsorption. Cell membranes have water channels called aquaporin which are protein in nature. What are the types and locations of aquaporins? Aquaporin 2, 3 and 4 are on the collecting duct. Aquaporin 2 is present on the apical surface and aquaporin 3 and 4 they are present on the basolateral surface. And where are ADH receptors present? V2 receptors are present on the basolateral surface and V1 receptors are present on the vascular smooth muscles, platelet liver cells and myometrium and V3 receptor or V1B ADH receptors are present in the anterior pituitary. AVP acts on the vasopressin 2 receptors on the blood side or serosal or basolateral surface of the collecting duct and how does it act? It activates the adenylate cyclase through G protein mediated cascade to produce cyclic AMP and sends signals to insert water channels aquaporin 2 on the apical surface to promote water permeability and water is absorbed passively from lumen of the collecting duct into hypertonic medullary interstitium through the aquaporin 3 and aquaporin 4. Cyclic AMP also increases the permeability to urea and some solutes. The second function of the principal cells is sodium reabsorption and this is done by aldosterone. Potassium sparing diuretics spironolactone also act on the principal cell. The action is inhibited by atrial natriuretic peptide and urodilatin. What's the mechanism of action of aldosterone? Aldosterone enters the cell through the basolateral surface, binds to receptor and translocates to the nucleus to cause transcription that causes sodium reabsorption. How sodium enters the principal cells? Principal cells have apical sodium and potassium channel. Apical sodium channel entry occurs through amyloride sensitive sodium channels with exit via basolateral sodium potassium ATPase. What's Liddell syndrome? Liddell syndrome is mutational activation of the amyloride sodium channel that causes increased sodium reabsorption, hypokalemia, hypertension and metabolic alkalosis. What's the treatment of Liddell syndrome? Convention antihypertensive drugs do not control the blood pressure. The potassium sparing diuretics, amyloride and triamterene block this effect. What's the difference between the Liddell syndrome, Kohn syndrome and secondary hyperaldosteronism which is due to renin secreting tumors. In all these three sodium is increased and potassium is decreased but in Liddell syndrome both aldosterone and renin are decreased whereas in renin secreting tumor aldosterone and renin both are increased whereas in Kohn syndrome Aldosterone is increased and renin is decreased. Third function of the principal cell is potassium secretion that occurs through apical membrane. How potassium enters into the cell? When sodium is absorbed, 
the electronegativity of the cell is increased so potassium enters the cell and this is done by sodium potassium ATPase pump and then potassium is excreted out through a process of secretion.